one of the most amazing discoveries of chimps is that they make tools. Please tell my man's are rock hard and impossible to penetrate. So how do you get at the nutritious termites inside? Chimps have learnt that by finding a suitable stem and stripping it of leaves, they can make a kind of rod to fish for the termites through the tiny little holes in the mound. I can tell you from personal experience that it's not as easy as it looks, but the chimps have got it down to a team. The twins are going to get an up-close demonstration of how it's done. Modifying a stick to fish out termites is fairly rudimentary, but until the 1960s, we thought that only humans could make tools. Gremlin gently prods her stick into the hole. The soldier termites attack the intruding twig in the hope that it'll leave. Only to find themselves in the mouth of a chimpanzee. The twins have a long way to go, but having spent years watching their mother, both Galahad and his sister know exactly what to do, though they're not quite as good at it yet as Mum. For fishing out termites, this kind of delicate rod is best. But when tackling vicious, biting safari ants, something a little different is needed. Each job needs the right tool and requires thinking the problem through. Gremlin's daughter positions herself as far away from the nest as possible and uses a very long, sturdy stick to get at the biting ants. Concentration is needed for the task, and there's also a knack to eating these angry ants. A quick swipe with the hand, and straight into the mouth. It's a meal with a bit of a kick to it. The way Gremlin's daughter uses an implement to get at ants is part of a tradition. It's as much a culture as learning to use a knife and fork or chopsticks 